Once upon a time, in a town, a poor but kind-hearted couple, Bororo and Petty, lived. My wife, Petty, we're out of fish already. The children have been starving. What should we do? By the way, we aren't missing any of our children, are we? Hmm, let's count them. The children look very hungry. Dear children, please be patient. The children started crying with hunger, and Bororo and Petty became more and more concerned. One day, a family of swallows nested on Bororo's house. Then, a big and scary snake appeared. The big snake slithered quickly to eat the baby swallows. Hey! Stop right there! Bororo began to drive out the snake and rescue the baby swallows. successfully drove out the snake and rescued the baby swallows. Thank you so much for saving our family. We are going to head down to the warm southern country. We will never forget this kindness. The swallow family said goodbye to Bororo and Petty and left for the southern country. A few days later, the Swallow family returned with their beaks full of seeds. gave the seeds to Bororo and Petty and left. Bororo decided to plant the seeds on the rooftop. One, two. 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 <laughs> then, the seeds Bororo planted began to grow into a big gourd. family decided to pick the huge gourd and slice it in half. Kinds 
of gold, silver, and jewels inside of the gourd. Swallows, thank you so much! Our children will not have to starve ever again, thanks to you! Bororo family's kind deed was repaid, and they lived happily ever after, helping others in need. Harry the merchant and his beautiful daughter Petty lived together in a village. One day, as Harry was leaving for work, Petty asked her father to bring back a rose. While Harry was passing through a forest, he ran into an old castle with a beautiful rose bush. I think Petty will like this. But as Harry picked one rose for his daughter, a scary beast appeared. How dare you steal my rose! Yikes! I'm so sorry! I just wanted to give this to my daughter! Daughter? Huh! Give her to me! Then I will forgive you! The beast threatened Harry. Harry returned home and told Petty the truth about what had happened. I will go! Petty made up her mind and set out for the castle to protect her father. Later that day, the beast saw Petty entering the castle's gate and fell in love with her at first sight. Petty, will you marry me? No, I don't want to! Petty continued to live with the beast and even got her own beautiful room. Every day, the beast came to Petty and asked her, Will you marry me? No! But the beast was more charming <laughs> and kinder than he had seemed. So every day, the two played together from morning till dawn. <laughs> you are so much fun! One night, a ball was arranged. Will you dance with me? Petty started to open up to the beasts honestly. Meanwhile, Harry was worried about Petty and gathered the townspeople to head for the castle. Everyone, let's defeat the beast and save my daughter! Let's go! The townspeople surrounded the beast. Father, I'm all right. The beast is a kind man. No, he isn't. He's tricking you. The beast was in love with Petty, so he couldn't hurt Harry. He didn't defend himself and wound up getting hurt. Oh! Uh. Petty quickly hugged the dying beast. Oh, beast, I love you. Thank you for everything. At that moment, the beast started to glow brightly. As the light faded away, a handsome prince was lying there instead of the beast. In truth, the beast was actually a prince who had been cursed. And Petty's true love had broken the curse. I love you too, Petty. <laughs> prince. Petty married Poby and became a princess. And the two <laughs> lived happily ever after. Dorothy Petty lived in a secluded home in the middle of a great prairie. One day, Petty felt frightened because the weather seemed strange. <gasps> ah! Help! Oh dear, 
a tornado came through and swept Putty's home away into the sky. After a while, Petty stepped out into a place she had never seen before. Where am I? Oh, I want to go back home. This is the land of Oz. If you want to go back home, you must go find the Wizard of Oz. Listening to the farmer, Petty set out to find Oz. On the way to Oz's castle, Petty met some new friends. A scarecrow without a brain, a tin man without a heart, and a cowardly lion. As they were reaching the castle, a steep cliff was in their path. What are we going to do? Does anybody have a good idea? Just then, the scarecrow answered. Let's cut down some trees and make a long bridge. Then the Tin Man cut down the trees and built a bridge. I'm happy I could help out. But as they were crossing the bridge, monkeys with wings started to attack them. Don't worry, Kurarang. Wow, the lion bravely chased away the flying monkeys. The friends crossed the bridge and finally met the Wizard of Oz. I am the mighty Wizard of Oz. What brings you here? The friends each told their wish. I need a smart brain. Give me a warm heart. I need courage, Krum. Just then, Petty quickly pulled down the curtain that was concealing the wizard. Reveal yourself! <laughs> oh my! The wizard was actually Eddie the Inventor. I'm sorry, I'm actually not a wizard. The friends were very disappointed. <laughs> At that moment, Petty spoke. It's all right, guys. The Scarecrow has the wisdom to solve difficult problems. And the Tin Man has a warm heart that cares for his friends, doesn't he? The Lion bravely protected us. Everyone already has what they wished for. After listening to Petty, <laughs> the friends all cheered. <laughs> That's right! <laughs> krung, krung. I don't think I will ever be able to go back home. <laughs> Just then, Eddie cried out. I can help you with that. I have a fabulous hot air balloon. So Petty and Eddie rode the hot air balloon and safely flew back home. Goodbye, my friends. I will never forget you. A long time ago, there lived a poor boy named Aladdin Pororo. Oh, I have nothing to eat. I need to find some work. One day, Aladdin was walking through the <laughs> desert when he tripped and fell into an underground cave. There he saw a strange old lamp that he had never seen before. Bororo rubbed the lamp to try and light it. But as he did, a giant magical genie arose from the lamp. Hey! Hello! I'm Genie the Lamp Fairy. Go on, go ahead and make a wish. Bororo was confused, but quickly made a wish anyway. I'm in love with Princess Petty. I wish for her to love me. I'm sorry, but I cannot control a person's heart. Instead, I will make you a prince. As soon as Poby said the words, 
Bororo turned into a noble prince. After becoming a prince, Bororo went to the princess and proposed to her. Princess Petty, will you marry me? Oh my! Princess Petty and Bororo got married, and the two were very happy. However, there was an evil sorcerer who was suspicious of Bororo's identity. When the sorcerer found out that Bororo owned a magic lamp, he went to the princess. Princess, I will trade your old lamp for a new one. <laughs> sure! <laughs> The sorcerer rubbed the lamp and secretly called the genie out. Turn all of Pororo's possessions into mine! Yes, master. Poby transformed into a gigantic genie and flew away carrying Pororo's castle. Pororo cried out while chasing after them. After some difficulty, Bororo sneaked back into the castle and carefully walked towards the lamp. However, the sorcerer saw Bororo. How dare you enter! <laughs> I shall lock you up in a dungeon forever! At that moment, Petty seized the lamp and called the genie. Give my beloved prince back to me! Your wish is my command. Bororo turned back into a prince and locked up the evil sorcerer in jail forever. Huh. I made a mistake. Bororo told Petty the truth about how the lamp helped him become a prince. I'm sorry. It was because I loved you so much. It's okay. I'll love you even if you are not a prince. So Bororo and Petty lived happily ever after. Move friends to the black car. Put the orange fruits into the cart. Hooray! 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 Move friends to the yellow car. Hooray! Put the green fruits into the cart. Hooray! 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 Move friends to the white car. Hooray! Hurrah! Krung, krung. Put the yellow fruits into the cart. Hooray! Hmm. 
Hurrah! Hurrah! What a fun color matching activity! Shall we try again? Give the biggest ball to Krong and the smallest ball to Pororo. Thank you, Krong. Thanks. Give the biggest fruit to Petty and the smallest fruit to Loopy. Give the biggest toy to Eddie and the smallest toy to Rody. Thanks. Thanks. Give the big bread to Poby and the small bread to Harry. Thanks. Thanks. All the small and big objects have come together. Shall we compare sizes again? Tap on the spaceship to summon your friends. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Give out the cookies in numerical order. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth. Sixth. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. What an exciting number game! Shall we try again? Divide the cookies evenly. <laughs> what is the answer to this edition puzzle? Let's try and find the answer. Six. <laughs> Let's try and find the answer. Four. <laughs> Let's try and find the answer. Six. <laughs> One, two, three. Addition game. Shall we try again? Which friend is hiding behind the square? Hurrah! Square! Which friend is hiding behind the star? Hooray! 
star? Which friend is hiding behind the triangle? Hurrah! Triangle. Which friend is hiding behind the circle? Hurrah! Circle. Which friend is hiding behind the heart? Heart. What a fun hide and seek game! Shall we try again? Look and match the shadow characters. What a marvelous shadow game! Shall we try again? Add the friends on the seesaw to balance the weight. The strawberries to match the length of the banana. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Add the crayons to match the length of the pencil. One, two, three, four. <laughs> Add the keys to match the length of the toothbrush. One. Two, three. <laughs> Weight and lengths are so interesting. Let's try again. <laughs> <laughs> 